everybody this is Chewy Docs I'm here to tell you about my trip today to Yellow Springs Ohio to the wool gathering um, it was a great day it was threatening to rain and it was a little overcast but the weather held up pretty good so we had a great time and the uh, first vendor that I went to see was a Lock Loman Studio Fiber Arts to Kim Johnson she does fabulous natural dyeing so I hit her first and I cleared her out pretty good um, this is alpaca merino silk and it's dyed with yellow cosmos this gorgeous kind of orangey yellow color and this is Osage orange and it's really actually a greenish goldish color and that is on a local Sir alpaca and CVM and it's so soft this is logwood and that is on local Sir alpaca and CVM and then this is indigo and this is on the Surrey alpaca and CVM also incredibly soft and then I got cochineal I have cochineal on the alpaca and merino silk and it's kind of a tomatoey red color and then also cochineal and this is on BFL silk and this is a raspberry red color and they're kind of completely different I guess the materials that it's used on and the pH of the water and just some different variables maybe the mordanting and uh, comes out completely different so one is tomato red and one is raspberry red both super soft and really squishy and I love it and then I went to sheepish creations and got some of this wonderful recycled sari silk so I'm going to be doing some sayori weaving and this is going to be some of the contents of that sari weaving. This is a kind of a bright turquoise color and then I got some of this great magenta purpley color and last but not least I got some of this really wild electric blue purple. It's kind of a 1980s blue. I think I had a coat in this color at some point and it's really kind of fun and funky and so that was from Sheepish Creations, the recycled sari silk. And then I got another Turtle Made Turkish Spindle. Um, I know the last time I did a YouTube video, I was kind of bitching a little bit about the shaft on the Turtle Made Spindle. I kind of like the, you could pick the different colors, but this was the one that I got and the shaft was a little bit too thick for my liking and uh, a little hard for me to twist and get a really good spin on it, but I thought it was kind of cute. Now I found that you can actually get a thinner, more petite shaft. and. I really like this one a lot. I think the spin just spins a lot nicer. It's a little more comfortable. And this one has these wild uh, stripes and purple and green, which are my absolute favorite colors. So I take back all my bitching um, because I really like this one a lot. And you can get it with thinner shaft and that is on Etsy. So check them out, eternalmade.etsy.com, I believe. And 3D printed Turkish spindles, you can pick your color of your uh, arms you can pick the color of your shaft so that's a lot of fun last but not least I got the Alden Amos big book of hand spinning being a compendium of information advice and opinions on the noble art and craft with illustrations by Stephanie Gostad who is Alden Amos's wife and the first time I came in contact with this book was about eight years ago when I started spinning and um, it was full of information and a lot of opinions and I was a little overwhelmed I just really it was too much I didn't know what I knew and I didn't know what I needed to know and so I said nah, not for me and I put it down and really that was the end of that now I really feel like I've had a few years more than a few years of spinning under my belt and it's time to get a little more technical and get some more control of my spinning and and my wheels so I'm going to be reading this book again and I think it's going to be a lot more um, useful to me now. It's going to make a lot more sense and that is The Big Book of Hand Spinning by Alden Amos. Yeah, and I had um, some really good ice cream at Young's Jersey Dairy. I had cow patty which sounds really really disgusting but it's actually chocolate and chocolate and more chocolate so how bad could that be? And some kind of caramelly truffly thing which was really tasty as well. And uh, had a good time and I came back with some money which is amazing I actually had some money left over so for being a, a superpower shopper and enabler uh, it's a good thing to come back with some money 
And thank you very much to Taxi Gary for taking me, and I hope to go back next year. And in the meantime, uh, please check out my other YouTube videos and let me know if there's something you'd like to hear about. And keep spinning. Take care. This is True Doc saying goodbye.